that moment when you're air dribbling the ball, your opponent comes up to meet you, and this happens. Yeah, I suck at 50s too, bro. However, I'm happy to announce that our terrible 50s suffering has finally come to an end. Because in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do 50s like a grand champ. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that all of the tips and techniques featured in this video came from me watching and analyzing Grand Champion ranked gameplay from some of the best players in the world. And so, if you can do them well, I can 100% guarantee they'll work. As I alluded to in the intro to this video, the single biggest mistake that players make when doing 50s has got to be flipping into the ball. Flipping into the ball when doing 50s is the kind of thing that feels like a really good idea. It feels powerful, like you're smashing the ball past your opponent. And yeah, sometimes it does work out that way. However, far too often the result will be something like this. The main problem with flipping into the ball is that most of the time that means flipping this way, upfield. And so if you do end up losing the 50, you'll likely find yourself flying through the air like a feather with no flip, using all of your boost to recover. And well, yeah, now you're in trouble. And if it's a 1v1, you might as well just toss a coin. Heads you score, tails they score. It's just overall a bad strategy. And if we look at the strategies used by the best players in the game, our grand champs, we can see that really the only time they're flipping into the ball on their 50s is when they're right in front of their goal. And then it's basically just a last resort panic flip. So instead, grand champions tend to use three totally different methods to challenge 50s, which are all a lot safer and more effective. But what are they? Well, that's what we're going to talk about next. But first, a huge shout out to ExpressVPN. If you've ever wanted to play Sideswipe in a different region, say over with me in Japan, ExpressVPN is how you do it. I can tell you from experience it 100% works, and honestly, the ping's actually decent too. And right now, every single MOGS viewer is going to get a huge discount of 3 months off all 12 month subscriptions. Meaning it just got a whole lot cheaper for you to jump into a different region and destroy your opponents over there. How good is that? So go check out ExpressVPN via the link on screen under the video description. One of the most common and also probably the easiest ways GCs do 50s is what I call the flip to surface method. Essentially, rather than flipping this way into the ball and upfield, they will instead flip towards a surface, like the ground or the ceiling. This method has all the benefits of simply flipping into the ball in that it's a powerful hit that smashes the ball away from your opponent but without the downside of being reincarnated as a feather. So go up for your 50, then locate the closest surface. Aim that way and flip towards it. This will get you a touch on the ball to block the play and allow you to get a flip reset and get some boost back. I would say this method is probably more common in twos just because of the fast paced nature of that gameplay, but it can also be used in ones as well. Next up is the 50s method that I think should be the default method used by most players in the game. It is the pancake. However, it's not just any pancake. It's what I call an active pancake. Ooh, active pancake. Sounds uh, oh, kind of weird actually. Grand champions almost never just pancake by flopping into the ball like a fish and then just staying there till it's over. Instead, they stay really active during the 50, using a variety of different mechanics and moves to get the edge over their opponent. If they're on the ground, they might do what I called the pancake dash in my recent GC mechanics video.
or if they're anywhere else, they might do a pancake followed by a gold shot. or maybe even a pancake followed by a manual flip. But regardless of their choice of follow-up move, they all start with a pancake. And they're what some might call active pancakes. Some being me, and now you. And the third and final method that GCs use when doing 50s is of course, the stall. When used during 50s, stalls are really just another form of active pancake. They're so effective because they get you a light touch on the ball to stop your opponent's attack, and they often also get you a boost reset at the same time, which you can then use to follow up with more touches. They're like the perfect 50. And whilst nobody's saying you should go ahead and spam stalls in the corner of the field like these absolute madmen, the occasional stall on your 50s will help you out a ton. So in conclusion, as a wise man once said, I'm the wise man and I'm saying it now, don't flip into the ball, stop becoming a feather in the wind, and above all, Pancake on your 50s. And now to wrap up this video, we're going to watch a full match of 1v1s from one of the best players in the world, Justin. During the match, I'll mark on screen every time he does a 50 and exactly what type he's doing. Alright, that's it from me. Take it away, Justin.
and are what you might call active pancakes. Well, I call them that anyway. So now you see what active means. Yep. Going back to the fish analogy, if you're a fish on the ball, you're a live one, thrashing around trying to push the ball past your opponent, rather than just dying and starting to stink up the joint. So stay active, fishy boy, and pancake your life away. <laughs>